Hey there, so you are building a great product. You don't need to build another CMS or admin tool. So today I'm going to show you Fire CMS, which is an open source CMS for Firebase projects. Now, if you are working with Firebase, you need a way to manage your recipes, your blogs, your products, your events, and you feel like the solution is to build another admin dashboard or admin tool, then take a look at Fire CMS first before you consider building another admin dashboard now let's look at a demo of fire cms so i'm going to tap on this demo link and this is going to take us to a page where we have a demo of fire cms in action now these cards over here are firebase collections right so you basically create firebase collections and then you connect them with fire cms and then fire cms manages that collection for you so let's look at what is in the product collection and within the product collection we get to see this um, table or ui where we have products here with category um, currency and fields here that we can just turn on and off right and then we can just change in the ui then if you want to add a new product hit on this add a product button and then we give it a name we drag some image we select a category and then we just populate our database it's as easy as that right now let's have an example ourselves so now let's create a fire cms project from scratch back to the fire cms website let's go to get started and then create our own firebase project with fire cms so sign in with google and i'm going to select this account After that, I need to create my first project and then I will need to allow Fire CMS to access my Firebase project. So create a first project, sign in with Google again and choose the account which has your Firebase project. So I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to create a new Firebase project but i'm not going to create it from here i just want to do it from my firebase console right so back to the firebase console i'm going to add a project and then the project is going to be fire um, cms right like this i'm going to disable google analytics and then create this firebase project right so when the project is ready so you have to enable some features here so the first thing we're enabling is the authentication right so let's just get started and then enable google sign in now we also need to enable firestore database because we'll be storing items in the database so create database I'm going to start in production and then just go to the default location now, the last thing we enable here is the storage so i want to upload some files to firebase storage so i'm going to enable this as well Right, and now we can get back and continue the setup. Back here, let's just refresh so that we get a new project we added. And then let's choose this project. Right, and this is going to ask us to allow some security rules, so just create the rules. Right, and that's it, so we are done. Now we need to add a new collection, right? So it's just like creating collections in firestore so add a new collection and we have templates here right i don't want us to go through the whole process of adding collections so i'm going to choose a template which is for product now the name is going to be product which is what we are going to see when interacting with this collection on fire cms but then in firebase the product collection will be called product with lower case p right so let's just go to next we don't need to care much about the advanced so next and there's the columns or the fields that 
the product template comes with. So we have name for a product, which the type is text field. So text field is like a string and we have a description over here. So a simple short text. We have brand, right, which is also a simple short text. And we can remove any of these. So we can move it or remove it from here. So I'm going to keep most of these stuff the same. And if I want to change any of the properties of a field, so let's assume the name. You want uh, to have a validation on the name, it should be required, um, it should be lower case, or it should have some kind of main length or max length. You can do all those things here so that when you are adding a product, the name must follow this kind of validation. And when it comes to the image, right, when it comes to an image, we want to put all our images in the images folder under our storage. We want the file name to be random, we want the path to be images, right? And we want to save URL instead of storage path. If you're working with images in Firebase, you normally want to have the download URL, which you can use to access the image instead of the path where the image is stored in your storage bucket or server. So let's enable save URL instead of storage path here. Right. And then for validation, we can make the image required because every product should have at least a main image. We can have an available here, which is a boolean right which says whether the product is available or not price and the images images is let's say um, other images of the same product we have related product that's an array of reference so it's reference another product in firestore we can have metadata which for now i'm going to take out and then added on which is the date it was added on now this will be automatically created when this product is created so we don't need to care much about it and now we can just create the collection so when we create a collection realize we don't have any product here so let's add our first product so add a product the name of this product is going to be just random so we can also use chat gpt over here so we have this uh, fill data for whatsoever so let's just use chat gpt for this so um, uh, fill data for a tractor product like this right and realize that chat gpt fills this data for us so it fills a brand for us and then um, it gives a price and i think it added some images it got these ones wrong but there's something we just fixed so we are going to remove these ones so you just put the name there tractor the brand and then we need to upload an image for this. So I'm going to drag an image in. So I'm going to drag an image of a tractor in like this. And I'm going to set available to be true. I'm going to move the extra images here, right? And then related products, I'm going to set it as empty. And we can now create this. So create and close. And we get an error related to our image. So our image doesn't work. And let's go back to Firebase storage and then go to rules. Okay, so I wanted to confirm if we had this check over here, right? And it's here. So let's get back and see if everything works. So realize that our image gets uploaded and then we have our image over here. So we can then proceed to create and close. And then we see that this has been added to our product so if you go to firebase and then go to our firebase firestore database realize you have the product collection here we have a product document and then we have this fields over here so it's available added on which is a timestamp we have images which are an empty array we have the image and the image is um, the actual image url right so something that we can show in our web app or our client side right and then we have the description here as well and it's very easy just like that we've been able to add a product we didn't need to create an admin dashboard from scratch we didn't need to create a cms from scratch just using fire cms and this works and if you want to update any parts of this you can update it in real time so if i want to change product name to maybe best tractor
right as soon as it turns green it means it has been updated so if you go to fire store we should see that the product name has been changed to best tractor and everything is in real time right so if you come back here we can add another product so add another product and then we are not going to use chat gpt for now we are just going to fill in the data manually so tomato and then the brand is going to be empty that's the name going to be empty then this is a tomato and then our image i'm going to drag an image in for tomato and for the image i recommend you wait a bit for the image to be uploaded before you continue to create this product so available to be true and then price we just enter a value here we can leave images as empty right and then when you come to related products we can add a related product so from this side when we tap we're going to get the list of all our products and for now tomato is not related to tractor but for example sake i'm going to just select this and then choose down here and then create and close so realize that we have the product here which is tomato and if you come to a related product realize that tomato is related to what best tractor right and if you come to firebase realize that we have uh, a new product created which is tomato and then the related product is slash product slash the product id so it does all this for you behind the scenes you don't have to think about it and it's very easy so the cloud version of fire siemens which is the one we are currently using is in beta right it was released recently and it cannot guarantee the best of fire siemens if you want to use a more stable version of fire siemens then i recommend you set up a local version which is very easy to deploy so if you come back to fire siemens we have self-hosted docs which is the version i prefer most and it's quite easy so if i come to the introduction section of this realize it's very easy to set up all you need is um, a little knowledge of typescript and then um, react so if you are new to typescript and react you don't have to worry because just like we saw on the cloud version it's very easy to configure all you have to do is to run this command in your terminal which will create a fire cms app for you and then with the help of the docs right, you'll be able to create your collections and then the relationship between them and everything else so if you're building a new product and you need an admin dashboard please consider checking out fire cms if you are using firebase so this is all about fire cms if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one